peoples of the interwebs. Um, yes, we moved. I said sit on the floor today because it's mm, my bed's a mess and can't be asked to tidy it basically. <laughs> um, but no, um, what was I going to say? I was going to think. So yeah, in the background I have my stuff. I have two posters, a TARDIS one and a Captain America one. Uh, I have my school timetable up at the top there. I can't angle with her. My revision timetable, my history stuff there. And up in the corner above the Captain America poster is my exam timetable for this year. Um, so yeah, this is going to be quite rambling all over the place. Um, I have no glasses. I've lost them because I'm an idiot. Um, I've got no one order. They'll be here next Thursday. So yes, I'm happy about that. Ish. Um, update on the Twitch. I've been, if anyone, I don't know if anyone wants to know, but I might just share it a bit. Because I might talk about uh, I've been pulling a bit here and there, but it's not as bad. So, like, it's like little bits when I'm revising and stuff. Um, and it's getting really long as well. If you look, I can leave the But look, it's getting really long, and I'm really happy because it's getting really long and it makes me smile. Um, but yeah. Uh, oh yeah, what was I going to talk about? I am going to talk about something that happened in school yesterday, which was Wednesday. Um, we have, every Wednesday, week two, we have, last lesson we have something called PD. Uh, anyone in England will probably know what it is. It's personal development education. Basically, they are a week where everyone just sits there bored and mildly annoyed because they don't want to be there. Um, but basically, this time we had this talking by this group called Peer Productions, their business cardish thing, Peer Productions. Yeah. Um, basically, they came in to do a talk, like a sort of like a play thing on self harm, mental health, and self worth. And basically, like set a festival, like um, the whole idea of a set in a festival. A long time after year 11, and three people have met. Um, I think it was Matt, Tasha, and Sophia. Yeah, Matt, Tasha, and Sophia. Um, three people had all um, either self harmed or struggled with mental health in the past, and they were all like, sharing their stories. Um, Matt, um, both Matt and um, Tasha are self harmed, but Sophia, Sophia was ever so slightly different. Sophia had trichotillomania, and I was so happy when they mentioned that. Like, she was like, it was just after she told a story, and she said to them, well, no one really knew what, so like, well, no one really knew what trichotillomania was. And as soon as Trich was mentioned, me and my, I looked at my friends, and they looked at me, and we were like, yes, Trich is mentioned, there's awareness, and it's good, and ah. But basically, it's like, they were telling each other stories from, like, their perspective. And so Sophia looked at her stories to Tasha and Matt, and she basically said, she was telling the circle Pandora, um, because the whole idea was she went to a boarding school, and her drawing was a girl called Pandora. And this girl, um, name was Pandora, the way she described was she was like perfect basically and one thing that I remember very clearly was something along the lines of her hair looked like a shampoo commercial, like, like, it, like it was always in a shampoo commercial. That perfect basically. And I was mildly annoyed at first because of course I hadn't mentioned Twitch yet. So I was like, that line wasn't necessary. And then when she mentioned the Twitch, it all made sense. I was like, yes it was necessary because that's how people with Twitch feel. They look at other people's hair, but I know I do. I feel like their ha they're not good enough, their hair isn't pretty enough, their hair isn't thick enough, it's not long enough, it's not nice enough. And everyone else's hair is perfect, and they're, they're complaining. Um, but yeah, no, I understood that. I look at people like, oh, their hair looks so perfect today. Mine doesn't, basically. Um, but no, um, then later on, like, the way in has, like, the three of them all in counselling, talking about, like, talking to a counsellor. Um... And they will be asking questions, but I related so much to the way that um, Sophie was explaining hers. She was like, oh, I, have, um, I hate when I have a giant bald patch on the side of my head and I can't wear the hair I want, the, my hair the way I want to. Because basically, I always part my hair somewhat like this. But you can probably see, I have these baby hairs. Which obviously means I had a bald patch there at one point. It was quite big, but well, quite moderately large, it was there. So I had to side part and change everything. I spent more time in the morning with my hair, try and hide it. I have those baby hairs on the back as well from where I couldn't have it up the way I liked it. And then she went on to go to say, then I asked how, like, how does that make you feel? And she went, ugly. And I relate to that a lot. But no, this production, I went in there expecting a train wreck. I'm being bluntly honest here. I went in there expecting it to be rubbish, not presented properly, the mental health to be really, like, prejudiced and go over all stigmas, not what it's actually like, self harm to be really badly presented. But it wasn't. I went in there and they did it really, really well. They were on about, um, because the holiday of Sophia was quite rich, went to a board, private boarding school and all that lot. And she was like, well, mental health, just, the statistic isn't one in five, one in four people, one in four poor people have mental health, it's one in four people. And they're like, 
She's like, yes, I may have had a nice life, but that doesn't make me exempt from mental health. And that's so true, because everyone says, oh, well, you have this, that, and the other, you can't be depressed. Oh, you have such a great life, you can't um, be depressed. Oh, you do this, that, and the other, you can't be anxious. Yet yeah, you can, it doesn't matter what your life is like, you can still have anxiety, you can still have depression, you can still have anything. Mental health doesn't exempt the rich or the poor, it treats everyone as equals. Basically, mental health does what our society should do, treat everyone as equals. Everyone's equally likely to have mental health, everyone's equally likely not to have mental health. Well, not really, you know what I mean. You always have an equal chance. You are, everyone has a chance of getting a mental health disorder, everyone has a chance of not having one. Everyone has an equal chance of either. Yes, I'm getting really mushy deep. Um, but no, um, okay, a couple of things about this channel. I have, my exam is coming up, I have a stats exam, a statistics exam, which is 75% of GCSE, exactly seven days away. Um, I have all my mocks coming up as well, so I won't be able to film as much. And like I wrote straight away. But I've pre-filmed a few things. Like, um I rant when I'm angry. I like well, like somewhat poemy things. Um so I've filmed a couple of them and I'm thinking of uploading them. But I need to know what you lot would think of that. What would you think of me uploading sort of like my like rants? If I were to like just um my first one would be the one about the person I wrote which would go up my Twitch. If that's well received then I'll upload a few more. Um another thing I wonder that I wonder if any of you lot no, well, there's like seven or eight of you, I think it is. So uh, there's very few of you, but you're still here, so I'm still gonna ask you. Um, what else was I wondering? Oh yeah, I was wondering. Um, would you? Would, do any of you know if you can cover spoken word poetry? That sounds really, really weird. I know, but if you can, like cover poetry, whether it's spoken word or written, because basically I found some really great poems that I relate to a lot that I want to just give my take on. But I don't know if I can. Like, you know how you cover something? Can you cover poetry? If any of you know, let me know down below. Also, let me know if there's anything you want me to make. Any, anything you want me to talk about. Any, like, tags, maybe, or anything. Any weird videos you want me to see. Just anything that you would like to see on this channel, let me know down below, please. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up and like, please. It'll make me really, really happy. And if you're new, please subscribe, because it'll also make me really, really happy. And thanks. Bye.